Do you love or hate mathematics? Well, for me, I actually loved mathematics when I was still at school. It was my favorite subject when I was in elementary and high school. So I love it so much. And I was a type of student who would submit uh, the paper to the teacher when everybody else, almost everybody else is still figuring out the solution to the first item in the quiz. So that's how I loved mathematics and I find mathematics fun. I don't think mathematics is difficult. So that's why when I teach mathematics to people, I don't get it when they don't understand it right away. And if they don't, I easily get frustrated. Now, my nephew knew this because I tried teaching him before and it just frustrates me. So I just, I couldn't teach math. Now that we are homeschooling, I have to teach mathematics to my son. And I think I frightened him too much that it came to a point when he said he wouldn't do anything with mathematics. He would just say, no, mommy, no mathematics. And when I asked him a question, even if I knew that he knew the answer. He would just not answer me. I said I needed to reintroduce mathematics to him and make it fun. And luckily, one of the parents in our homeschool chat group posted uh, this one, this fun frog balance. So they actually got it from one of the students who was having like a project, uh, being an entrepreneur for a month. And uh, Kyla, that's her name, and she is selling different educational toys and one of the toys is this one so i actually bought like total of three toys from her but this is one this one is particularly for mathematics so i said this will be very useful to make mathematics fun so i'm going to show you and it was really helpful you know mathematics um Ma Joss now answers the mathematics when I ask him and we're having fun learning it and so I'm going to show you I'm going to share to you how we use it and how we apply it so that the lessons or how we how we use it to supplement or to reinforce the things that he learned um, in his lessons. There are suggested ways on how to use this plus a couple of things that we do that is not written in the in the manual here. Okay, so anyways, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Trini Ann and welcome to my channel. This is what we're going to talk about fun frog balance it is called the puzzle and teaching game uh so in this box you can have cards 30 30 cards you have the frogs like this one 19 of these and then you have the numbers 1 to 10 and the instructions so it says here that you can play it from one to four players um so you can, you know, if you have many children, they can play, they can bond over this game, over the fun frog balance. And it also says here that it's uh, recommended for five, um, ages five and up. And I think that's because of this. This is a choking hazard. But um, I think you can introduce this to your kid as early as three years old or even baby. Just have to hide these ones because this is these are very dangerous so this one I, I think this is safe they cannot they cannot uh, eat this they cannot they can bite but they cannot eat this this is kind of big so i think it's okay it's fine for younger kids and i i actually wish i had discovered this before joss is turning six so this is really perfect for him uh okay so i'm going to show you how it looks like and how we can play so these are the cards that it comes with. It's double-sided and it's in three colors. So you have here the purple one, you have the uh, the green one, and then the blue one, right? So level one is the green card, which is this one, green card, which is number recognition. 
So you put number 10 and then you count how many frogs there are. So equivalent to 10. So this is just easy number recognition from 1 to 10. So this is level 1. Now the purple card is level 2. So level 2 is counting. So you count how many frogs are there and then you put the number on the other side of the it because it looks like a weighing scale. So this is the level 2. Now level 3 is addition. So this is most especially helpful for grade schoolers and Jos is in is already in the first grade. So this is useful for him. So 2 plus 3, what is the answer? You put the answer on the other side. And then we're going to show you how this is done. So this is what it looks like when it's assembled. So it's like a weighing scale. And um, you have to put equal number or equal value. And it will balance. Okay. It's not really like, you know, like straight, like flat, but you know if it's the correct answer or you rather, you know if it's the wrong answer because it will tilt like this, three versus four. So, you know, it's not the right answer. So if you put five also, it will be like that, right? So you would know if, or the student, the one playing this would know if he is doing or she is doing the right answer. So, again, for the green cards, level one, this is just number recognition. So, number recognition, there are, like, uh, you start with one, for example, and you say one. Okay, and I think this is for younger kids. Uh, the, the level one is good for younger kids. You say one. Okay, can you, can you look where is one? Okay, put one here very good and and they will you know like it's very entertaining for them to see how the weighing scale balances or the frog balances you know so uh this is level one number recognition and then the number the level two which is the purple is counting so how many frogs are there one two three four five six seven seven frogs okay let's put seven frogs one two three four five six seven and then where is the number seven here okay here all right so see so that's number recognition this is and what we're using more is the addition so you have there like two plus one you put two and then one so what is the answer so the answer is three like that. Other things that we find this helpful is to familiarize yourself or familiarize the student with the number families like for example i say number six okay number six is four plus what is the answer okay and he would think what would make up six it's made up of four and so he would think so he would put the right answer after that just leave six there number six is also one plus and he would know what is the answer to that so he, he will get familiarized of all the numbers of all the combinations or the families number families that would make up six and then you proceed with a different number and so on okay So I would put this number of frogs here. Now don't count. You guess. How many frogs did I put? Maybe that is... There are five frogs. Uh, no, it's heavier than five. It's bigger than five. Okay, so bigger than five. What is a number that's bigger than five? Well, maybe it's seven. Mm, it's still bigger than seven. Well maybe it's 10 oops no 10 is bigger than the number so that is the number is bigger than 7 but less than 10 so it can be 8 or 9 it's 9 because it is bigger than 8 
but smaller than 10. What? Then you check. It's really 9. See? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's really 9. So it's amazing. Now, it's really fun guessing game. And at the same time, uh, the child or the student will learn greater than or small than. He would compare the number. So analytical skills will be at work here because he will be thinking, what is a number greater than seven but less than, or greater than eight but less than 10? So the greater than and less than, he would know that and he would also like analyze the number and the, organize the number in his head, okay? Now, so one digit you know? number on each side. So say for example, three, plus 7 is 4 plus and he would think so like he would analyze its analytical skills and it will practice him to compute and to answer fast if he she chooses an answer you don't say oh that's wrong or that's correct you let him put it and then realize that it is correct or wrong so say if he would put eight, mm, it's wrong, it's less than eight. So again, he would know, you know, that he would choose from number seven down. Uh, just contact the page directly so that's all and um, if you want to learn more about the things that we do in homeschooling uh, please subscribe to our channel and more videos like this will be coming up in the near future thank you and have a great day everyone be safe and healthy all the time bye